Hey guys, this is Spartacus here, and in today's video, I'm going to be going over the machine pistol in Vanguard's multiplayer and giving out the best attachments to use for this particular gun. I do want to make it clear at the beginning of this video that the attachment I am recommending is going to be catered to Vanguard's multiplayer, not for Warzone, but I will admit though, these attachments probably will work in Warzone as well because I can't really see any other reason why you would switch them out to something else, uh, maybe in the proficiency in kit column you can like trade something out or maybe the optic I don't know but for the most part these attachments I'm going to be recommending can pretty much be used in Warzone as well even though I'm really mostly going to be referring to Vanguard's multiplayer when I recommend them. With that out of the way there are two traits about this weapon that make it really hard to use that I'm sure you guys have already figured out yourself the first one being that it has high vertical recoil or high kick for that matter as soon as you start shooting this gun it's going to pretty much just shoot straight up and it makes it really hard to control but also by default it only has 10 bullets in each magazine and so you are going to be running out of ammo extremely fast so with those two features in mind that you need to improve on you need to find attachments that can not only give it a higher ammo count but can also give it better recoil control and so that leads us to the first attachment selection I'm going to be showing you on screen and this is going to be my dual wield setup with the machine pistol so the proficiency slots going to be taken up by akimbo and then the muzzle attachment is going to be the strife compensator which of course course gives the gun better vertical recoil control same with the VDD 140 millimeter barrel and then of course the optic I mean you can use whatever you want I mean it's dual wield you're not going to be ADSing at all but the trigger I use the hair trigger for this because what the hair trigger does is it gives the gun better hip fire accuracy and so since you're going to be only hip firing with this type of setup I highly recommend using the hair trigger and then for the magazine I use the 40 round mags because that way you can just spray and pray at close quarters range in case there's multiple enemies near you and it really really is helpful having that 40 round mag on this pistol and for the ammo type I just use hollow point just because it actually uh, does more damage to enemy limbs even though it's decreasing the range you are still dealing more damage to the limbs and the thing is this is only going to be a close quarters weapon it's dual wield for goodness sakes do ever try to use this gun at longer ranges maybe you can get away with it in hardcore mode but most people are going to be playing core mode so definitely stick only to close quarters engagements while using this type of attachment selection and then of course for the rear grip I am using the fabric grip and this allows the gun to actually have better sprint to fire which I think is very beneficial for this gun and then of course for the kit I am using fully loaded because this type of attachment selection is where you're going to be running around with the machine pistols more often it's not something you're going to be pulling out in case you uh, have to reload your weapon or maybe you ran out of ammo in your primary weapon I don't know what the case may be for you guys but this type of attachment selection is if I just feel like running around with the machine pistol and so I definitely think this is my favorite one to actually go with but if you're somebody who doesn't want to use dual wield and you're somebody who actually wants to go ahead and use the machine pistol as like a single pistol instead of dual wield well there is another attachment uh, option I have for you where instead of the other muzzle attachment I'm using the mercury silencer and since this gun is there's just no point of going for longer ranges with this gun definitely using the mercury silencer will keep you off the radar and make things a lot easier I'm using the exact same barrel for this I just think that barrel is just by more superior than the other barrels that are available for you and then for the optic I'm using the monocular reflector even though that's kind of my preference I guess it really depends on what you guys want to use although iron sights I don't think are too bad either and then of course I have the steady trigger attached to it as well as the 20 round mag and one thing you guys got to keep in mind is that the 40 round mags like I showed you on that other attachment selection it does decrease the damage on your gun so keep that in mind but the 20 round mag does not the only re reason why I recommend the 40 round mag on that previous attachment selection is because it's hip fire only and you're going to be using basically two pistols instead of one and so you're having twice the firepower essentially and so you're only be killing enemies at close quarters and it just works well for that scenario however for a sidearm when you're using just a single pistol the 20 round mag is definitely the best option to use because it, you're using it as a sidearm not as a primary weapon and then for the ammo type I'm using lengthened so that way I have better bullet velocity then I still have the same fabric grip attached to it but then for the proficiency I'm using brace and then kit I am using quick because I like actually sprinting with my pistol sometimes and then I'll just switch out to my primary when I want to start killing enemies and so yeah that is definitely my favorite uh, attachment selection when using the machine pistol as a sidearm not as like a primary weapon quote unquote uh, but yes I think this one can be very handy when using it as a backup weapon in case you ran out of ammo for your primary weapon or in case you need to switch to your secondary instead of reloading because as you guys 
guys know, switching to your sidearm is always faster than reloading. Now, for those of you who are trying to get this weapon gold, I do have a big tip for you guys when it comes to long shots, because long shots are probably going to be the hardest thing to get this weapon gold, just because all the other camo challenges are relatively simple to get. There is, of course, 30 bloodthirsties you have to get with this, but the easiest way to do that is just get four kills with your primary weapon, then for the fifth kill, which is your bloodthirsty, just use your machine pistol, because for some reason that counts. You don't actually have to get five kills without dying with only the machine pistol. You can use, like, the STG, get four kills with the STG, and then the, for the fifth kill, get the kill with the machine pistol, then it counts as a bloodthirsty. Really easy, actually. It's not super hard at all. However, long shots are a bitch to get done, and so my biggest tip to you guys is, first of all, play hardcore mode, but second of all, use this class setup I'm going to be showing up on screen. It's not really a class setup. It's more just the attachment setup, of course, but the biggest factor you need to take with this screenshot that I have here is build it with a bunch of attachments that improve its recoil. Also, the barrel, I no matter what, always use the burst fire conversion barrel. This thing is super good. It makes the gun have like almost no recoil at all compared to the, I guess, default version of the machine pistol. And so having the burst fire barrel attachment on it will make it so much easier to stay on target for longer ranges. And of course, getting those long shot kills over with, considering you need 50 of them and it's a real pain in the butt to actually use. Also, I recommend using an optic like the four to eight times scope just because, you know, it is longer distance after all. But yes, build this thing to where every single attachment that you can find that has the best recoil control on it, put it on the weapon and have that burst fire conversion on it. That is the best tip I can give you guys when it comes to getting long shots with this weapon. So with that being said, that is my ultimate attachment tip on how to actually use the machine pistol effectively within Vanguard's multiplayer and I guess within Warzone as well. I mean, I feel like they will transfer over pretty well within Warzone, but I don't really play Warzone myself. I only play Vanguard's multiplayer, but either way, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you leave a like on the video if you found this really helpful, and of course, subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty videos almost every single day, and I shall catch you guys later.